How's it going everyone? In today's lesson we're going to be learning how we can use the add static method decorator in Python. So to get started I'm going to create a class because this is a decorator that only works in classes. And for this example I'm creating a calculator class so that we can have many different kinds of calculators that have different names and different versions. We're just going to pretend that we are a calculator factory that produces calculators. And the very first method I'm going to define here is something called get calculator info. And that's going to return to us a string which contains the info of this calculator. So return the f string of self.name with the version number. So I'm going to type in v.self.version. And what's important to note here is that this is a method that actually uses the information from the instance. And that's why we have self everywhere, because we are using the information from the current instance when we create this calculator. But next we're going to create a method which does not use self. So here we're going to type in def add all because we want to add a bunch of numbers. And here we're going to type in numbers with the star. So that's going to allow us to insert as many numbers as we want. Or actually this is usually referred to as arguments and you'll probably see it written as such, but here it just makes more sense to define this as numbers. Anyway, we want to be able to add as many numbers as possible. And all of these will be of type integer. And this will return to us an integer. In a more flexible program, of course, you can change this to a float, but just suppose we only want to add integers here. But next we're going to return the sum of these numbers. And that's all we're going to do inside this method. What's important to note here is that the code editor is going to give you some syntax highlighting. It's going to inform you that method add all may be static. But what does that mean? Well, to explain it briefly, we are not using the instance for this method. It's a method that will work perfectly fine outside of the class because it doesn't rely on any information other than the numbers, which can come from anywhere. So now we have two options. One option is to move it outside of the class, which is what it usually suggests, and we will still be able to use this anywhere in our project. And then the second option is to turn this into a static method or to annotate it as a static method. So we're going to remove self and we're going to annotate it as a static method. And this just tells Python that we know that this can be used outside of the class, but we still want to keep it inside of the class because it just makes more sense to keep this method coupled with the class itself. I mean, it's a calculator function. It's nice to have it inside the calculator. It will give our project a nice sense of structure. Anyway, let's go ahead and create a calculator instance. So here we have a calculator of type calculator, and that's going to equal this calculator with the name set to Bob calculator, my favorite calculator, and the version will be set to one. Now we can print the calculator dot get calculator info. Then we can print the calculator dot add all, and we can insert as many numbers as we want. And when we run this, first we're going to get that calculator info, and then we're going to get the result of that operation of adding all those numbers. And this is quite nice because once again, we've coupled relevant functionality with the class. Because again, having this floating out in the open is quite random and might not always be the best option, especially if you already have a class where this fits perfectly. But there's something else I should show you because since this does not rely on the instance, we can actually use that method directly. So we can just call the calculator class or refer to that and add all the numbers. So we can do that once again. One, two, three, four. And we'll just add five to show you it's a different operation. And when we run that, we're going to get 15 back. Even if we did not instantiate this calculator here, we just referred to it and used its method. If we were to do the same thing with the get calculator info method, we're going to get an exception because we do not have self. It's going to wonder where is self and self is the instance. So if we do not create an instance, it's not going to know where to get this calculator info from, which means, as I mentioned, we're going to get an error that it's missing one required positional argument, self. So yeah, I hope that cleared up what the at static method decorator does. Do let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it, whether you have any more questions regarding it. But otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.